I don't know what convinced me to sign up for a gym membership right as winter's beginning. <laughs> the Kardashians made me do it. <laughs> Today's Hyper Focus Friday is about none other than the Kardashians, the family of all families. If you want to go in the gym with me, stay tuned. If not, just skip ahead where I start blabbing there, so. All right, 30 minutes in. Time to go home. I did way more than I actually thought I would. Uh, so as you can see, an entire day later has passed because when I left the gym yesterday, the lighting was absolutely terrible. So this is my studio. Take it or leave it. Keeping up with the Kardashians, I finally kept up with them and I'm still not caught up. I have watched over four seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians and I'm still struggling to keep up with them. At the end of the day, people could say whatever they want about the Kardashians and I definitely, you know, had my eye roll moments where it's like, golly, I can't believe I'm watching this but I was fully entertained. That's a really loud engine. They're revving things up, getting things heated in here. I was fully entertained the whole time while watching it. I enjoyed watching their interactions as a family in the early seasons because I watched like the first couple seasons all the way through and then I watched a lot of the new ones including the up-to-date season although I'm like four episodes behind oh my god but I want to watch them. <laughs> Can you believe that? But I definitely do want to watch them because I find it entertaining and oddly enough believe it or not inspiring. Oh my god who knew that a reality television show could be inspiring? Watching them when they were younger was really interesting to see where the little girls Kendall and Kylie because I know all their names now where they started and how they've come. It must have been really hard for them to like watch their older sisters be so glamorous and to eventually like, you know, want to follow in their footsteps. No wonder Kylie like got all her lip injections and it's a very image driven society in Hollywood. Anyways, the reason why I even started watching it is because I was really proud of Kim Kardashian for using her skills that were maybe gifted into her to help get somebody out of jail. I can't even think of her name. That was why I started even being interested in Kim Kardashian and the Kardashians. That's why I started keeping up with them is because she started, she helped get out of prison. She fought for months to get her out of prison. It wasn't just like an overnight thing and the, the team surrounding fill in the blank had been working on her case for over three years and they just couldn't, they couldn't get her out. And so the president was the only person that could give her clemency and get her out of prison and he did it. And she put her political opinions aside, which not many people can do regardless of what anyone believed. I remember one of the top comments, <laughs> cause I've just been like binge watching anything Kardashian, was just good for her for growing up. So that's what made me start to watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. As a family, it's really charming and inspiring to see them stick together, fight like cats and dogs, but still at the end of the day, we're just really supportive of one another. It's just a really sweet thing to see them so supportive. Even when it got to the point where Kris Jenner and Bruce Jenner were gonna separate, the two young girls were really scared that they weren't gonna be family anymore. Just to see them support one another and say that'll never happen. Lo and behold, millions of seasons later, they're still a strong family and they hustle for all of their own goals. They have each targeted separate individual hopes and dreams and they've made it happen. Kendall wanted to be a model. She's a top paid model. Kylie loved makeup. Now she's one of the first young millionaires, self-made millionaires. Some people want to dog her for, obviously she had a leg up and that is very true, but she still used it in a way that made her a really successful person. We could either watch it and be inspired by it or tear them down and be jealous of their success. The one person that inspired me the most of all of them is Khloe Kardashian. She looks amazing compared to where she started in the show and she looks fine in the beginning of the show, but she's really come a long way. She is stunning. I'm gonna defend them, you guys. Sometimes when I listen to myself like legit speak about things like this, it just makes me laugh. I would be not speaking my truth if I wasn't honest and say that the Kardashians have fully inspired me to stay in shape and to work on myself because they are older than me and they look way better than me. We all can go to a gym. Planet Fitness is $10 a month. Outside is free. Your house is free. Obviously medical exemptions and there are some reasons, but I think for me having ADHD, I, I keep reading it's the most important thing or one of the most important things you can do to help yourself feel better and to help your mind work and function better. And so I'm gonna do it, you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the gold. 
Uh, for me, the takeaway with watching the Kardashians is to see how hard they work on their jobs, their careers, their lives, and how much they put family first. It's just really inspiring to me. So glean from this what you may, take from this what you, you will. And sorry that my lighting is so not the greatest right now, but if I had an amazing place to film at home, I would, but I don't. And one day I will, and you guys will be on that journey with me. So thank you for those that have subscribed to my channel for all the compliments I get. It means the world to me. It's um, It puts a smile on my face every single time. Please subscribe if you like this video. Click the little bell down there. The moment I put up a video, you'll be notified. Share this with all your friends and put a comment in the section below if you have any thoughts on the Kardashians or what's your guilty pleasure TV show because you all know you have one, even if it's not reality TV. We all have a guilty pleasure that maybe we don't want to be forthright to admit. So mine is I've been watching the Kardashians and you better believe I've been made fun of in my personal life for it. Not really. Just my niece recently was like, what are you watching? And she's like, I didn't know you watched that. And I was like, I didn't know I watched it either. So maybe you should check it out and maybe be inspired to get your life in order and to make something of yourselves because I'm convinced that it's never too late. And if I can do it, you can do it. Okay. So as my light's fading, yours should be glowing. I'm actually going to go work out. Day two in a row, baby. Bye.